hello everyone and welcome back to our channel for today's video we are going to guide you through the process on how to get hsbc bank statement online but before we dive into all of it make sure you hit that subscribe button below and ring the notification bell never miss out on our latest content all right so obtaining your hsbc bank statements online will give you the convenience security and environmental benefits because you can access your statements at any time any day or night from anywhere with an internet connection right it will eliminate the need to visit a bank branch or wait for a paper statement to arrive in the mail now choosing all the statements reduces some paper consumption and it, it is typically secure and encrypted ensuring the safety of your financial information all you gotta do is log in with your username and password and in some cases uh it will require you for a two-factor uh, authentication for added security now i'm here at hsbc.com dot uh hk or you can do this also on hsbc um, app just log into your mobile device and log in using your credentials here there are two ways to get your e-statements or bank statements online number one is if you are using the uh, online banking right now i'm on the website okay log on to hsbc online banking and once you've done that hover over banking on top of the menu under e-statements and e-advices select statement and advice preferences right here okay and switch from paper to electronic accept the uh, terms and conditions right here guys and save now you are all set now how to view and download your e-statement or e-advices using the uh, hsbc hk app all right once again tap the uh, profile icon in the top right corner to access the uh, profile tab select e-statements and e-advices choose the account for which you want to retrieve your e-statements or e-advice also you can use the document type or period filters to narrow down your search results open the available e-statement e-advice from your search results now please take note that for ios users tap the button in the top right corner and select the location you want to save the file to because your file will be saved there once you've made your selection and now for android users Tap the button in the top right corner and your file will be downloaded automatically. Right? Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.